Hey, if you'd like to support the production of more MOOF University video tutorials, then please visit the support MOOF section on MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So now we've got IDL, intermediate density lipoprotein. Um, and they're basically VLDL remnants. VLDL remnants. And they can be acted upon by an enzyme called hepatic triglyceride lipase, which converts the IDL into LDL. Um, hence the reason why IDL's function is basically being an LDL precursor. So it's an LDL precursor. Basically, that's it's one of its main roles is to give rise to LDL. Uh, another thing that it does is it returns some of the endogenous lipids to the liver. And its main apoproteins are B100 and E. So it doesn't have C2 like VLDL did. And the reason why is because the, CLT, the, the C2 on the VLDL uh, was lost when C2 um, activated the um, the lipoprotein lipase, okay. as we saw previously, right here, right. So basically, we left off right here where IDL was made as a remnant from the VLDL, and it no longer has a C2 because it was lost here when the C2 activated lipoprotein lipase. Uh, so now IDL basically can do two things. It can either take, uh, it can either go back to the liver, be taken out by the APOE receptor, or by the LDL receptor. Um, so I guess I can extend this line out to this way. Okay. And it can be taken up and then all the components can be recycled. Or it can give rise to LDL via HTGL, the hepatic triglyceride lipase, which will digest the IDL to LDL, um, which actually gets rid of the APOE protein, and then we, we have LDL, which is talked about in the next video. So this video is kind of short because IDL is pretty much just a precursor. Hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share the video with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Thanks, and happy studying.